All right, guys, this is Ray with Sonic Electronics. And I'm Alan. And today we got this 2008 Nissan Altima in for a full MVX system. Let's get started. <laughs> we got an existing system in this vehicle that we're gonna tear out completely, including all the wiring. We're gonna rewire the entire car, make a custom sub box uh, with two VCW 12 inch MVX woofers, two JD 1200 ones, one per woofer, an 804, some X series components, V series coaxials in the rear, and it should be a pretty darn good system. Stay tuned and check it on out. Now a couple of things I just want to show you guys. I found some homemade capacitors or actually uh, inline caps for the tweeters that we had in the A-pillar that the previous shop installed. Just chilling in there like this. Uh, solder joints exposed, some non-electrical tape, but definitely something you don't want to do. Cause some shorts in the system. Terrible sound quality probably. It's probably didn't even sound that good to begin with. Alright, so we got everything ripped apart. We had to take out all the old cabling, speakers, and everything from the previous install. So as you can see, if you look inside the vehicle, everything's ripped apart. Uh, the benefit of taking it this far apart is so you can actually run your cables with all the factory loom here. So a lot of shops don't usually tend to take the car apart. They kind of just pop up and tuck. But the advantage of having this all apart is that you can run your wires really cleanly with all the factory wiring. So if someone were ever to pull the car apart later down the road, you'll see that everything's nice and clean. It's extremely serviceable. Um, plus, we kind of needed to do it anyway because it was really bad. Now we're going to be uh, pretty much starting the wiring to uh, start the next process. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we got everything ran through the whole car. We got our zero gauge coming from the battery all the way back to our uh, hybrid 10 farad cap, which is also being used as a distribution block to go to our three amplifiers. If you'll also notice, um, we pretty much try to zip tie our wires throughout the whole entire vehicle approximately every six inches. So everything is nice and snug and they're run with all the factory wires. We ran new 12 gauge wire through the door boots into the door. Uh, to the rear speakers, so the whole entire car has complete new wiring, um, and we'll let Brendan take it from here. 
All right, so we we're ready to get the speakers in. We we're actually replacing the uh, speakers that came in the car, which were Infinity Kappas with our X-Series components up front. Uh, we went ahead and made some speaker baffles as well. Uh, trim rings basically to fit these X-Series in because of mounting depth issues and also to the door itself. So we got the doors all dampened. Like Alan said, we ran 12 gauge to every single speaker in this car. So we get the maximum power out of our 804 to those mids and highs. It makes it sound good. So we're about to get the rear speakers in as well. Uh, we got basically the V-Series two-way coaxial six by nines, and we're replacing them uh, from basically the Infinity Kappas, which as you can see here, pretty much destroyed. We found a lot of screws just chilling between the coil and the actual tweeter post itself on the speaker. So I'm not sure if they could rattle out and fall in there, but as you guys <laughs> saw, these weren't held in with anything when we started. So we got the deck lid all dampened up, we're also replacing underneath the hood, uh, doing an XS Power D1200, getting them a new starter battery to hold up with all this, uh, all this current draw, so it sounds good. Other than that, about to build the box, and uh, stay tuned. Alright, so when you rewire the entire car utilizing your speaker wire, most of the time your speaker wire is going to be the same colors for your mids and your input to your crossover. So uh, what I use is from SMD, it's actually an impedance mid, uh, meter and signal generator at the same time. So I can go ahead and throw a test tone to one of my speakers to verify that I got the correct one so I can put it on the correct output of the crossover. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I use it. I already have my connectors on the end of my uh, speaker wire. And you'll notice you can hear the mid-range, it's sort of hard to hear, but it lets me know it's the mid-range. So I'll go ahead and verify my connection on the tweeter to make sure that I get signal through my tweeter as well before I hook it up to the crossover so I'm not doubling back after everything's back together. Let's say if one of my terminals fell off my tweeter. So I'm going to do the tweeter real quick. And as you can hear, my tweeter up top. We got signal, so we're golden. Handy tool, I suggest one to every installer, makes your life a lot easier, and it's a lot better than utilizing a 12 volt battery to pop a speaker, because you can severely damage a tweeter with a 12 volt battery and popping it. So, other than that, we'll keep going and connect the last cross over here. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Alan over at Sonic. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics and uh, we're replacing the uh, 6x9s in the rear deck lid of this vehicle, so we're going to kind of give you a quick overview of that. All right, before we close here, just a quick recap um, as far as the products that we put in this car. In the front, uh, we did MVX X-Series components. In the rear, we did the V-Series coaxials. Um, under one of the seats, we did two uh, JAD 1201s. Under the other seat, we did a NVX X-Cap 10, which is a 10 farad hybrid cap, and an NVX JAD 804, which is their four channel. And in the trunk, two VCW 12-inch woofers and a custom box tuned at 34 hertz 
and this thing sounds really good. And we're extremely impressed with all the NVX audio gear. All right guys, so we're wrapping it up on our 08 Altima with our full MVX system. Now remember, check the description below, below for the full list of product we used on this vehicle and head over to Sonic Electronics for all your electronic needs. Sign up on our YouTube. Subscribe. Subscribe and also check out our Facebook for further build logs and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you guys soon. Next time. Oh, okay, just like in the other video. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, within this system, we're doing X-Series components in the front, V-Series coaxials in the rear, three JD series amplifiers, two JD 1201s and 804, two VCW... Oh, look at this. We'll share the mic. Are you excited about this? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics. <laughs> Brendan's being an asshole behind me. <laughs> Um. Yeah, this shit cuts. You're running 12 gauge and everything? Sure, why not? All right, guys, so we wrapped it up on our 08 Altima. Warranty, can you turn on the music for a quick second? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Say in the video, below. below. <laughs> I'll do the uh, below. Uh, uh, All right, before we wrap it up here, just gonna go over what we kind of did in the install. And I didn't like the way it sounded. Again. <laughs> I was like, why are you looking at me, bro? It's not my part. So we just completed the system. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> Altima here for a full system revamp. Uh, we're actually tearing out all the old equipment that was installed, probably some shabby ass shop. Fucking rig that mother together. <laughs> Whew, I'm red, man. I'm red. I'm crying. All right, <laughs> hold on. All right, all right, go ahead. <laughs>